Hello and welcome back to Paul Quest 5, Episode 4. Having just got off his amazing victory at Battle Chips or whatever it's called, Battle Cruiser, whatever, uh, my engineer was apparently arrested for punching a guy. Which, I mean, to be fair, seems like something he would do. So that sucks. Uh, so, guess we'll have to bust him out. Where, where are you going, Roger? Okay, good. Achtung, verboten! Security guard was recently underground sensitivity training and now likes to read his victim's poetry before beating them unconscious. Oh, that's nice. Scram, Pee Wee. Space bar patrons whose recreational activities go beyond the accepted standards of polite society. Paul cell appears to be empty. This one seems to be occupied. Ow! No! Ah! Uh -huh. I just now turn out the face field going on, go on in. It's gonna zap me again, isn't it? Yeah, I knew it. No! Ah! What a dweeb. <sighs> you guys suck. Anything that they might want. Dehydrated space monkeys. Wonder, can I show them? Oh no, I'm not who you think I am. I'm this guy. Was the alien booth, the alien sitting with Quirk in the upper booth when he came in. What about him? So it was the same creature we saw in that transmission we intercepted. Oh ho ho. What doing with Quirk? What do you think, Drew? He has a slight misunderstanding of the crew member from the intrepid the last time we were here. Slight misunderstanding? <laughs> Colorful speculations about a crew member's parentage. That is a great line. Unflattering anatomical references. Fourteenth husband. <laughs> so, yeah, how'd you get him out last time? Because that could be helpful now. <laughs> yeah, let's go blast them out. All right. Uh, my 
Why don't you get started on your project, sir? Take command of the situation. Hmm. Can we upstairs? <laughs> Revolutionary computer game. that many places to go here. Let's see. A whole bunch. Do not allow contents of package to mix with alcohol. Seems like a terrible idea, which is just the kind of thing we need right now. Haha! <laughs> -ha. Now that's what I call a distraction. Guys, there's some like space monkeys out there. I mean, it's like they're like decontaminate, climb out of the pressure suit, run to the phone. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. From sprint to TGNA, friends and aliens. Holy crap! By the way, I, I think I mentioned it before, but this was literally sponsored by Sprint. This video game. It's not just, it doesn't just seem like that. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Alert, alert! Space monkeys! I hope they have a special space monkey alert. Force field. Okay. Got rid of that. Trigenium plasticine and ferroconcrete with the words Im the words impregnable spring to mind as you stare at it. Hey buddy. Sorry, Captain. Wasn't my fault. I know, Cliffy. I know. Not gonna leave me your rotten, tiny self for the rest of my life, are you? Uh, probably not. Don't be fear to have the jury rig cat crap. <laughs> yeah, he's got the. Uh... Job security. Something that will get through those bars. Hole punch! Haha! -ha. Haha! Okay. That's fair, that didn't work. Some 
something, dude. <clears throat> Something to burn. burn through the door. How far down do I go? Like a welding port? Maybe there's some. Ooh, ooh. I should go back to the ship and see if there's something in the. Uh, there's even more here now. Shouldn't be, in, shouldn't be in big trouble if you get out soon. The station is going to be able to avoid the pressure of some. Uh oh. I wonder if I actually have a real time limit on this. Alright, let's see if he's got anything in his. There's that tool. Can't leave there? Hmm. Can't get her to help. Ooh, wait a oh. Wait a minute. Can I dig Spike with me? Oh, that's so cool. Who likes face hugs? <coughs> is it Spike? Yes, it is. He's the huggiest. Oh. Uh. Energize. Energize. <coughs> Is it Spike spit that burns through stuff? I hope, don't have to, I hope it's not like an alien. I don't want to have to hurt him. I love you, Spike. You're my only friend. Here. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Who's a good boy? Good boy, Spike. Good boy. Yeah, I know he's good for something. Save your ass. Yeah, I've definitely destroyed the space station. Well, it's gonna like explode in a puff of sea monkeys. <laughs> Space monkeys. They're worse than tribbles. call that a uh, mostly successful outing. Code message from Starcon. Order to proceed to Clorox 2nd for auxiliary garbage retrieval mission. Uh, oh, right. I need my thingy that tells me what all the uh, places are. Should have had that open. In the meantime, how's it going? What do you know about Clorox? It's a small colony on the fringe of the G6 quadrant. A 
back rub. Oh, um. Well, that's that's good. I feel like this might be one of those situations where it's actually better for him to not like me. Oh. Hey, I do have a cute butt though. That's good. You know? Roger doesn't get a lot of positive reinforcement in his life. So it's probably for the best. Clorox. Okay. <laughs> Think we'll get in trouble? Well, thank you very much. Uh, who's Pops? <laughs> oh, well then, um, uh, okay. <laughs> well then, um, carry on. I mean, we are, we are a garbage ship. Like, you know, we're not going to get space. Oh. It was pretty brilliant. Oh, wow. This is literally like the nicest, I'm pretty sure in the entirety of the Space Quest series, this is the nicest anybody has ever been to Roger. Uh, all right. I love you guys. Uh, Lane of course. Coordinates would be, but the awesome. Guess where we're going? Nine o two one o. That's right. Oh yeah. Light speed. It's not like it has to uh, like load the next area. I don't know why it makes me wait. Let's see if I can talk to. Hey, Cliffy. Finish putting WD forty back together. Ooh. Uh, I can cloak and decloak the ship. I wonder if I should cloak the ship before I arrive. Uh, I don't have any particular reason to. I wish to talk to my science officer. Hey, WD-40, who doesn't try to kill me? Recommendation. Scan planet. Oh, no. All right, that's all. Wow. She's not so bad when she's not trying to kill me. It's amazing how much that improves. All right, let's go back to regular speed. Boop. Waste beacon. Standard orbit. Uh, ooh, now 
I can scan the planet. Boop. Scan planet. Nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide. Everything looks good. Indeterminate readings. Scan for ships. Uh, fate of the colonists. Uh, hail the planet. Hey planet, how's it going? Hey, Starcon. What the? <laughs> oh, the red lines are busy. They need to stay. This frequency and operator runs your call in the order to receive. You are number. Whoa, that's a big number. Welp. Looks like we're on our own. It's just you and me. Spike. Better go down with you. Meet you in the transporter room, Captain. Oh, wow. Jeez. It's not... They're not like... It looks a little suspicious. You better go down by yourself and die, Captain. This is great. My crew is actually, like... You know... Semi-respectful. We're like way ahead of where we used to be. Hmm. Oh, cursed for. Either colonists cannot answer or they will not answer our hails. All right, solid advice. Uh, I'm going to put in a, I haven't saved in a while. Uh, planet. Dead planet. All right. Oh. But I like Spike. Why can't I take him with him? He's acid that also is a friend. How much better could you get? Fashion critic. Red. <laughs> it's a good point. It's a good point. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing a red shirt. Why am I wearing a red shirt again? Tumbleweed. What's this? As if their owner is left in a hurry. No, that ain't good. I feel like there's... I kind of want to try to pick up this tumbleweed again. Seems suspiciously regular. I don't have anything that can really interact with the tumbleweed. I don't have any help. What are you talking about? Who knows when I could use a tumbleweed? I'm gonna blame you if I need a tumbleweed and I don't need one, okay? Or 
if I need a tumbleweed and I don't have one. Tumbleweeds, they have a thousand and one uses. Like, um, tum tumbling. And uh, a thousand other uses. Too many to go into right now. Large hole ripped in the side. Oh, that's encouraging. What's this? That's definitely a tentacle. Small computer console appears to be the only piece working inside the greenhouse. There's a little... Crap! Aren't you an ugly one? Um, hi. <laughs> I was ugly like you once, but look at me now. Perhaps I can make you pretty like me. Uh, dodge my death, loogies. I'm right alignment. Try ducking next time. Uh. Welp. Uh. Alright. Welp. Death by Lugi. It's not a great way to die. And believe me, Roger. <laughs> Roger has a pretty, uh encyclopedic knowledge of ways to die and death by loogie has got to be pretty high up on the list of terrible ways to die all right bet that guy doesn't get spit to death I feel like it's gonna take more than a banana up the tailpipe for this guy. Although, that might actually be effective. A banana in the face. Alright, now we save. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna call this No Lugi. In a sort of optimistic kind of way. Try to use this. Get attacked by Luki Meister. Drop something over there too. Better grab that. Boy. Dodge my death, Lugis. I do what the Store no Lugi. Welcome to the magical world of no Lugi. Actually, wait a minute. If I don't interact with that. Clear as 
to how this dodging is supposed to actually work. Nice! Good job! Thanks for saving me! Slightly late, but still good. Is that going some kind of metamorphosis? Fast, I'm free! The Lugies have released me! Hey, this would be why it's called the next mutation. And soup, secret path over the ridge. Ah! Let's see what this computer has to say. Access code I do not have. Maybe. Piece of paper. Maybe that's where the code is. Eight o eight six nine. Well, it'd be rather convenient of him to have dropped. Eight o eight six nine. Ha ha! Push the log. Clorex 2 Colony Administrator Harry Carey, Stardate 3012.68. Something very strange has been going on here in the colony since the Goliath's last visit. A small survey team is a week overdue and there have been reports of strange creatures roaming the Badlands. No doubt it's just a bit of cabin fever by the more imaginative types, but I'm worried by the disappearance of the survey team. Personal Log, Stardate. 3015.68. I'm becoming more and more alarmed. The search party dispatched to learn the fate of the survey team has reported back for more than 50 hours. Fear spurred on by more wild rumors about the creatures has the colony on the verge of panic. Personal log, stardate 3016.68. God help us. A band of hideous mutant creatures attacked the colony last night. Very few of us escaped the massacre, and I have been wounded slightly. There is no doubt that these Creatures are intelligent and even appear to have rudimentary understanding of technology. They have captured the shuttle pod pad, cutting off our only means of escape. Using my personal passcodes, I have sealed the colony so that the creatures may lo no longer be able to get into any of the undamaged structures. Personal log, Stardate 3017.68. I am in agony. The wound I received burns like fire. An hour ago, the mutant creatures blasted off in the colony's shuttle. As they climbed the boarding ramp, I got my first good look at the creature in the daylight. It was hideous. The tattered rags he wore were the remnants of a survey team survival suit. I have a terrible suspicion of the fate of the colonists. Of the fate of the colonists. I'm now utterly alone on this planet. Dying, I hope, and... Oh wait, no. Dying, I hope. Dot, dot, dot. Well. So he sealed it with his personal code, which I guess might be the same code as I'm using here, I guess. Well, that sucked for him.
this. Structures don't seem to be as big as I thought they were. Rocks for jocks. These kinds of stones are completely inedible. Great. So. Secret path, eh? Some sort of tumbleweed generator over here. Ooh, what's that say? <gasps> Soup! Suspicious looking object we can't quite discern. Soup was the key. Bad soup. Stick. Rock so lock finding it really useful here. Discern it from your present location. Sort of in the foreground. Don't patronize me, video game. It's not an interesting idea. I use the laser cutting torch on the bars of that thing. That would have been smart. I mean, apparently that using spike worked, but the laser cutting torch is maybe what I was supposed to do in one of those alternate success things. Right, can I get up there from here, maybe? What the... Oh, ho, ho. Primordial soup in the logo of the Genex Corporation. Oh, it's not that kind of soup. Handling a toxic waste can be hazardous to your health. Uh. Stick! Small label near the bottom bears ominous biohazard te teratogenic substance. Do not expose direct sunlight, air, or water. Do not ingest, inhale, or allow contact with exposed skin. Another fine product from Genix. Quote 41 
41666. I should write that down. Sector G6. Four one six six six. Why does this? Why do I even have this pen that doesn't work? Four one six six six. Sector G six. Okay. it up even with a stick um, says don't expose the oxygen is that all I need? like does that tell me what I need to know I don't get like a score thing for that to be up. Ooh, I should talk to her. Maybe she knows something about it. Yeah, I I did investigate. And I found that container, but I guess that was not sufficient. I will continue my investigations. See what's around here. What did he say? He said, bad soup. Secret path. Which I'm assuming was that this over here. Soup, I command you. Obey me, soup. I mean, can I? Is that a. I mean, five digits is a course. I'm missing something. Right. Let's go right to the ship. I mean, I can't even set a course without what's his name over here, but maybe he'll come if I. You said you're gonna go look around for stuff, buddy. <laughs> Weak emergency frequency. Oh, ho, ho. 
they, they came from behind. A little sprint there. I think the side of his face was melting. The Thakrakus system. Meanwhile, on the SCS Skyly Goliath. Oh god. Things do not look good for the Goliath. Uh, there is also this thing, okay. Playing a course. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Coordinates locked in. So this is the... wonder if this is the place I should go first. I'm gonna put in a save. Maybe this will be like... Maybe I can like get the antidote from these people. Antidote. <laughs> hey science person. My circuits are functioning perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Nope. nope. Nice to see everything working tip top shape. Regular speed. the planet or the planety thing oh scan scan for ships Standard orbit? Aha! There we go. Uh, oh, hi! Oh my god! It's horribly mutated! Well, I guess we're going to have to leave. Cloak. Dope. <laughs> well, that was my plan. I really wish that piece of information had been expressed to me a little earlier. You put that option in. Sigh. Shields. Just, just in case. Uh, I probably can't teleport. Probably can't energize with shields. Yet. Maybe I can just teleport Spike over there. I bet Spike could take care of the problem all by himself. So 
Make sure this isn't going to... energize me into space. Also, how would I spell energize correctly? Bing. Uh oh. Their anti teleportation shields are up. Another way, A. Eh? Well, we do have this shuttle bay place. He does a weird little lean getting off the transporter that I like. Um. Down. Down? Down? Oh, do I push? A button. Ah, there we go. Turn on the elevator. That's an important aspect. Oh, hey! That's where he hangs out. So there's no pressure suits that actually fit me. That's a problem. Oh, rebreather masks. Wait, that could be useful. Can, can I have one? Hey, hey! Got an oxygen tank and a rebreather mask. Really, what more do you need? Uh, hey, Cliffy, what you working on? Rescue in emergency situations. This is an emergency. An emergency overlaw override for the airlock. Ooh, that's interesting. Pod rotation intercom airlock. I used it up to the trans. Oh, that's where the thing. Okay. Maybe I've got to come back here when I got my cloaking device working. Any word on that, Cliffy? I feel like I probably shouldn't open the airlock. Not only am I not here with no spacesuit, but Cliffy is here with no spacesuit. <laughs> Let's try going to the other location. Maybe, maybe I came here too early. Although on the plus side, I'm not dead yet. Wait, the anti-transportation shield isn't my anti-transportation shield, is it? Just a sec. I would feel kind of silly about that if that was the reason why I couldn't teleport. Energize! Okay. That wasn't just me being dumb. Okay. It does say they're anti transportation shields. Okay. 
Looks like I'll be shoving off. I just can't stop from doing that. Uh, Lane of course. Two Thoracus. Five, three, two, eight, four. We'll be back. Let's roll. Status report. All systems operating within established parameters. Cloak. Can't cloak the ship during light speed. Also, you haven't made the cloak work yet. You should really mention that. Space. The final frontier. The, oh. Okay, maybe not the final frontier. Oh, uh, wait. Regular speed. No readings for the Goliath, but I am picking up an escape pod locator beacon on the planet's surface. Scan for ships. Scan planet. Okay, you. Let's orbit. Now let's scan the planet. Highly toxic to humanoid life forms. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. Scan for ships. Indeterminate readings. There are ships within range, they're jamming us. Cloaking device on! You know, Cliffy, sometimes. Sometimes, Cliffy. All right, well, clearly there's something not so good happening on this ship, or on this planet. But what exactly is, what form of no goodness that's happening on this planet? We'll have to wait until the next episode of Paul Quest V.